something very funny, gentlemen. Comes to us from England over there. He has many shows over there. He was a regular on the Comedy Cellar uh, this week in the Comedy Cellar. And I believe he is going to make it to the stage right now. Please give him a hand. Jeff Leach, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes. Boom. How we doing? All right. About fucking eight of you. The rest of the audience just looking at me like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Didn't know there was a street magician on the show. I'm not a street magician. Just had a really good weekend at Hot Topic, that's all. <laughs> Chris Angel's looking a bit fucking rough, isn't he? Jesus Christ, what is... I thought he worked out more than that. It's... It's all right, relax, Sal. I'm not a homosexual. <laughs> Just a European. <laughs> Same thing in America, isn't it? I didn't know that. Back in England, this is what everyone looks like. Just skinny jeans, a loud shirt. It's like, good morning, good morning, how are you? England. So I flew over here to America with my visa, popped it down. The guy stamped it. Poof. Welcome to America, sir. You're a homosexual now. <laughs> Why? Everything. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So yeah, because I'm European, I'm like, I don't know, 43% gay, like. Like I won't touch it, sir. But I'll blow on it from a distance. That's... <laughs> Special occasion, your 70th birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Life back in the old boy. <laughs> I smoked a little weed backstage, I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. <laughs> Having a great night. Even in the moments where you're not laughing, I'm still having a great time. <laughs> no, I dress like this because, you know, it's fun, it's colorful, I like being performative and flamboyant. Plus, you know, I live in Los Angeles, and in Los Angeles, this is called Doing It! Oh my God, look at that guy, his shirt, his skinny jeans, his jewelry, his hair, ridiculous, he's doing it! I'm doing it too, it's six in the morning, I got a tiny dog and a tiny purse, doing it! I've been in Starbucks, I've had five coffees, I've run a script, you got beautiful bone structure, which we do a YouTube series, fucking doing it! That's LA, because they're all fucking crazy. So they love this. But I didn't live in LA when I moved to America. I lived in New York City. And this ain't doing it in New York City. <laughs> this is, what the fuck are you doing? In New York City. Very aggressive city. Very outspoken. They'll tell you what they're thinking in New York, even if you don't ask. And after you've asked them not to. <laughs> Repeatedly. I moved into my new apartment, I got so excited, I got all dressed up, I walked out my apartment door the first day in a loud shirt, some jewelry, all this stuff. There's a guy who sees me, double takes, and just shouts out, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> you cock-sucking red coat, <laughs> Good morning, Dorman. <laughs> She's fucking super aggressive, see? But now, doing it. <laughs> Los Angeles. Los Angeles. We got anyone single in tonight? Any single people trying to get fucked in Vegas? Okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, you all just look, you just watch me do that. You all just watch me do that. And not one of you motherfuckers threw me a lifeline. Not one of you. Who's trying to get for that? At least one of you just be like, yeah! I felt bad for him. He was looking at what, he's, look at what he just did with his fucking legs. That was weird. He's high. You know he's high, right? Yeah. Yeah, look at He's dancing like a fucking idiot. I got to throw him a butt. Yeah, yeah! yeah Come on, relax. Yeah, so he looks like a nice guy. He needs this. He's just said he needed it. Like, let's just... But no, not one of you motherfuckers did that, did you? No. You just watched me give it all of that. You give fuck to that! And every single one you went, no. You were like a Spartan army. Hold! 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 Just you fucking assholes! Can't believe you did that to me! Ever so upset right now. Sorry, I'll get over it. So. But now I'm doing it. Los Angeles, they're on soft. Soft. I'm doing it. See? You're going to remember that shit. That's going to be in your head. You're going to fucking hashtag tweet that shit out there. You won't remember my name, but you remember doing it. <laughs> Who's that comedian? I don't know. He does doing it. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. I don't mind that. Doing it. Yeah, New York's terrifying. <sighs> COVID's been terrifying. Sorry, we're okay. We're all doing it. I'm vaccinated. Any got, got any vaccinated people in? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not even gonna ask the rest of you because you'll be dead in three months. I. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Come on. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Two months. <laughs> three months. If you're gonna get that far, you're crazy. <laughs> It's magnetizing me, dude. It's magnetizing me. Why does it stick? Because you're fucking sweating, you stupid cunts. You don't like the C word in America, do you? You know what? I just said that word so powerfully and forcefully, and there's one more elderly gentleman, a more mature chap here in the audience, spotlit brightly. And as I went, you stupid cunt, I just caught his eyes directly, and I felt like a horrendous person, like I was just... <laughs> cussing out my grandfather who fought in a world war for me to be able to ponce around in a stupid fucking shirt on stage and make jokes for a living and this guy is out there ga, 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 he hasn't had a good night's sleep since fucking 1972 he's fucking ah, he's, and I'm over here calling him the C word, but it wasn't about you, sir. I'm sorry, you're just lit and you're there and you know, you look a bit like a cunt. So I just thought, no, <laughs> teasing. It's a joke, it's a joke. It's just a joke. Wacka wacka. We could be in a band, look at our fucking outfits. We could be in a band together. So how do you all know each other? What's this deal? What's your, how do you all know each other? Happy birthday, sis. Woo woo, 26. 36? Shut the front door, you look amazing with 36. So you're wealthy. Oh, you're not 36, just 30. All right, lady, she can speak for herself. <laughs> Who are you, her PR agent? Listen, 30 years old, how's it feel? Yeah, what are you gonna do to celebrate? Fuck your boyfriend, right? Oh yeah, in the window of a hotel, am I right? Yeah, you are, it's all right. They, they're one way mirror, you can't see inside but you definitely got to do it because you can see outside and it kind of feels hot. You're like, oh, they might be looking at me. It's like, it's pretty fun. You guys should do it. You're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to do it. Yeah, he already knows. He's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> dude, I have been saving for this trip for six months, dude. Of course we're going to do the window sex, but if you keep talking about it, it's going to make her crazy anxiety, man. You ruined this for me, so shut your fucking mouth, dude. I read all of that in your eyes in just like a heartbeat. In just a heartbeat, that's how much I know you. We could be lovers. I'm just saying, it's a possibility. I'll just blow on it. I already told him. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm fucking doing it. I love you. I'm going to get t-shirts made now. Oh, man. I'm, I'm missing my girlfriend. She's back in LA. I'm kind of excited to see her already. She's uh, my goddess, that's what I call her, because she's fucking amazing. 
yeah, I'm really in love. I'm so, like, it's not just because she's, like, fucking glorious, like, beautiful and intelligent and mind-numbingly fucking powerful. It's, like, just overwhelming her brilliance. But on top of that, she's, like, not a mental piece of shit. And that's really... <laughs> I really value that now. I did a lot of casual fucking. Whoring is the official term. A lot of whoring in my younger years. I had sex with anyone who wanted to fuck me, really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's... <laughs> She's like, oh no, what do you mean used to? Why would you give up that pastime that sounds so delightful when my presence is here? <laughs> Husband's looking at me now like he's gonna fucking kill me. Like, keep it up, man, keep it up. Keep that shit up. Thousand yard stare through my soul. He's ripping out my spinal column with his eyes. Fucking, not you. You're fucking in a window in your head still. I can still feel it. But he's just. <laughs> You're either side of the same window. That's gonna fuck you up later, isn't it? That's. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're the terrifying dude from fucking Texas. <laughs> He got him some fucking neck and head tattoos. He looks like he ripped your throat out with his teeth. What's up, man? How are you? When'd you get out of prison, brother? <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking. You just do look fucking terrifying, though. He's what? Oh, now he's fucking... He's going to kill me. Well, they don't sit in the front row. Jesus Christ. Oh, I might have you. Maybe the two of us will end up canoodling outside. <laughs> Good. We could skip the prison and go straight to the fucking. That's, that's, <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> All right. He didn't see that going that way, did he? I'll make you my bitch. Yes, you will. I want to be treated like a lady. Let fucking you look after me for a minute. Paying my bills and shit. I'm joking. It's 2020. I know I said I'm joking. It's a fucking comedy club. I realize it's an outdated patriarchal bullshit way of thinking about the world. I'm aware of that. I'm just fucking making jokes. Just give me a second to get them out. Fucking hell. Why women? Why women are so fucking confident? Oh my God. Becky, are you hearing this? It's ridiculous. What is he going to say now? It was Karen! Yes! Bring me the manager! Actually, I have a Karen Bob going on right now. This is, this is COVID haircut. I haven't cut my shit in like a year. And this is a little bit like, if I just got like a strip of blonde, like I, I'm fucking, I'm a Karen. Oh shit, I am gonna be your bitch. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm glad I'm in a, I'm in a relationship with a beautiful one, woman now who I love very much. And I'm glad because I fucking, dating sucks so badly. You don't know who people are. You realize after a while, after enough bad dates, you realize you don't know who the fuck people are. That's what you're doing. You're basically going, hey, potentially fucking crazy person. <laughs> Let's spend some time together and possibly have sex tonight. Like that's a lot. There was a girl came up to me after a comedy show, right? I walk off stage. This girl walks straight up. White woman confidence. She walks straight up. <laughs> before I even got my feet off the stage. She calls and she goes, she goes, hey, you're pretty funny in tonight. I was thinking maybe that you and I should go for a cocktail. Right? No. And I was like, ooh. I hate your voice. But, but I'm very insecure. <laughs> I'm lonely. And I think I need this validation. So yeah, we should go for a drink. It's true, I'm being honest at least. Yeah, I'm being honest. Thank you for your insight. 
live Yelp reviewer. <laughs> Just... Yes, that works out. Can confirm. Hashtag white women confidence. <laughs> anyway, this girl comes up. She says, we should go for a cocktail. We go for a cocktail. We have a few drinks. She actually turns out to be quite fun, quite intelligent, a sweet girl. And then uh, she touched my arm. She goes, why don't we go back to your place for a nightcap? I'm like, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so I get back to my apartment, open the door like a gentleman. I'm about to invite her in. And she just became, a, this is when I realized you don't know people, right? Because she just became a different person than she'd been all night. She grabs me by my shirt. She slams me against the wall in the inside of my apartment. And she goes, <sighs> okay, now you listen to me. I heard your comedy tonight. I know you're a very bad boy. Well, you just got yourself a very bad girl. I want you to take me inside that apartment of yours. I want you to undress me, push me on the bed. I want you to fuck my pretty mouth, spit in my face, slap my ass, scratch my back, pull my hair, and then take me roughly from behind until I beg and scream for you to stop. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but, but seeing as though we're doing some role playing, I want you to sign a release form. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm like you fucking mental, Becky. I'm a white, straight, cisgendered man. I'm not doing any of that shit to you. Have you seen the fucking social climate? No, 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 no. We shall sleep in separate rooms, madame. <laughs> no, I don't trust you guys anymore. But I met this woman, fell madly in love, and now we're fucking madly in love. Woo! Love it. I've been in love. It's great being in love, isn't it? When you fucking know that you want to be with someone. It's a good feeling. Good feeling. Is anyone here in love and happy? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're lies. You're not lying to me because you're bad people who like lying. You're lying because you have been conditioned by society to think that that is the truth. That's not the truth. Love and happiness are vastly different concepts. Happiness is a fleeting state of emotion, a moment in time that can't be recreated. It doesn't last for any period of longevity. You'll be happy millions of times in these relationships, but it doesn't last, right? Love is all-encompassing. It's everything. It takes over every facet of who you are. Happiness is me when I was single, before I met my girlfriend, <laughs> going to a warehouse rave on a fucking Tuesday. My boy's calling me out like, mate, we're going down to the nightclub tonight, yeah? Good DJ going on. We've got some top quality ecstasy tablets. Are you down for this? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm down for that. <laughs> I get my way down to that nightclub. I take those ecstasy tablets. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I hit that fucking dance floor, just... <laughs> Meet a gorgeous girl on the dance floor. Our minds, our bodies connect. The drugs, the music, the euphoria. A moment in time that can't be recreated. We leave that nightclub at six in the morning when the sun is rising, just cresting over the horizon. 
like a golden orb of brilliance. And I take that girl's hand, I walk her back to her doorstep, and there, romantically, for the first time. <sighs> I blow cocaine in her asshole. <laughs> That's happiness, madam. <laughs> That's happiness. But I'll leave you with this. Love is way bigger than that. Love is way bigger than that. Way more important than that. Love is being together with your partner for fucking years. Enduring. Getting through a global pandemic with that person. And not ripping each other apart. How long have you been together with your partner? Nine years. Nine years. Yeah, that's love. What about my elderly gentleman behind? Sorry, I keep calling you elderly. You're like 50 years old or some shit. Mature. You're elderly to me, but then... I'm... You're 74 years. Oh, all right. He looks good for 74. 51 years. Yes. Yes. That is beautiful. Oh, my goodness. All right, my heart's swelling. Hey, you're adorable. You're adorable. I feel even worse now for calling you a cunt earlier. But... <laughs> <laughs> Twice, three times now, I just, it gets worse and worse. You're clearly an adorable, incredible hero, and I wish you were my grandfather, but, or my dad, or just like my friend, or just my lover. There's just <laughs> options. <laughs> my sensei. <laughs> That's love though, sir. 51 years together with your partner, that is love. Love is this gorgeous woman, this glamorous, Starlet of Hollywood and Vegas and beyond. This gorgeous lady's laying in bed. She's reading a book. She's incredibly intelligent. Actually, she's sitting there going, <laughs> I think I already knew that about the cosmos. <laughs> no, she's rich as well. It's a Kindle. <laughs> she's incredibly rich. At the end of the chapter, she just throws the Kindle against the wall and it lands on a pile of other broken Kindles. And a handsome gentleman, her hero, her sweetheart, is laying on the pillow next to her, snoring like an African tiger. <laughs> Those cherubic cheeks rising and falling like an angel from heaven above. A big pool of drool on the pillowcase that she just ordered from Macy's, the good shit. It was a high thread count, Egyptian cotton. But she doesn't mind because she loves him and she will look after him forever. And I know why, because she'll put her book down or a Kindle <laughs> and she'll look over his little face even after 51 years. And she'll think, I do love this man. I love this man with all my heart and my soul. I never knew when I met this stranger 51 years ago, I could fall so passionately in love with another human being. I wanna see you thrive. I will support you through the low times so we can enjoy the good together because I love you, my darling, with my heart and my soul. And he's there. <laughs> but I could suffocate you so fucking easily right now. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! 51 years of this shit every night.
but you don't do it, madam, and that is love. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. You've been an incredible audience. I'm Jeff Leach. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, guys.